Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel where we talk about all things skin. Um, ingredients, ages and stages of aging or skin, as it changes through the time, how things are formulated, so anything that is of interest to you. I am a cosmetic chemist with over 35 years experience in the laboratory. I started out with very bad skin as a young adult, a young child, a young girl. Um, very bad, problematic skin with a lot of immune deficiencies and issues going on. So I really come from experience uh, both suffering through skin changes and what it what it did to me and also as a formulator chemist and now a mature woman um, going through aging and working with skin care and, and ingredients. Anyway, today we're going to talk about how to create a skincare routine for aging skin or hormonal skin or maturing skin. Skincare routines are usually based on a couple of simple premises. So the groundwork for a good skincare routine is a cleansing phase, a moisturizing phase, and sunscreen. So those are kind of the three categories that we start out with a skincare routine. So this is going to be a typical routine for a very young person, someone in their teens, someone in their 20s. As you get older or as things change or your skin is, has certain issues, you'll be adding different things into the routine. When you're dealing with hormonal aging or maturing skin, older skin, mature skin, you've got to consider what is happening to the skin. First of all, your collagen, your skin tissue, your connective tissue is older, it's thinner, it's weaker. You're making much less collagen. The collagen that you do have is changing and denaturing. So we know this is happening and your skin is becoming thinner, drier, and much more sensitive. There's also the barrier function of the skin that is actually weakening. So we have to take all of this into consideration. This is the stage or the age of your skin. And what you're trying to do with your skincare routine is obviously cleanse your skin and hydrate your skin, but you probably also want to work on the sensitivity, the skin thickness, helping to support the skin as much as you can outside of what your body is actually doing and outside of a, just a simple kind of routine. So the first thing to do is to look at the cleansing phase. With older skin or maturing skin, I always consider two forms of cleansers, right? So you're not just one kind of cleanser because it could either be too harsh or too weak, you know, if you're gonna stick to one. Because your skin tends to be a little bit more temperamental as you're older, it's good to have two kinds of cleansers. One is an exfoliating cleanser with acids in them, and this is really good because this is going to help cleanse your skin and polish your skin. Also, that act of exfoliation is very important to keep the skin vibrant, to keep the skin energized, keep those cells turning over. The other type of cleanser is a cream cleanser, a milky cleanser, a gentle cleanser, a very hydrating kind of cleanser. This cleanser tends to be very good as makeup removal, gentle cleansing, very calming. So always have two forms of cleansers at the ready. Also, listen to your skin. You'll know the day that you need to do a little bit more work and use your exfoliating cleanser, and then the days that you could be a little bit more gentle and use your milky cleanser. The next thing to consider in your skincare routine would be antioxidants. Antioxidants are very important. Antioxidants help fight free radical damage, um, unpaired electrons, oxidative stress, or what we call premature aging. So you want to incorporate either a vitamin C, a good quality vitamin C, which is about 15% uh, to 20%, you don't want to go higher than 20%, with a ferulic and a vitamin E also in that formulation. This is going to really help to stabilize that vitamin C, allow it to be, up, allow the uptake and allow the efficacy to be better for that maturing skin. My other favorite as an antioxidant is glutathione. So the glutathione in a liposome formulation, skin brightening, also helps with the calming of the skin. The other element you want to add into your skincare routine are retinoids. Retinoids at nighttime, very important. Remember what's happening to your skin. You're making less collagen, the collagen that you have is older, the and is also breaking down. What do retinoids do? They actually help create collagen and build collagen. So you need that workhorse in your skincare routine to help stimulate the building, help stimulate the renewal and the regeneration of the skin. So there's a few things that could go on in your skincare routine that are very helpful. 
The other thing um, in that skincare routine, so you're going to have your antioxidants, your retinoids, and then your peptides. And I'm thinking peptides with either a collagen stimulating peptide, a growth factor peptide. These are very important for your skincare routine because of the fact that they're going to help with volume. So we want things that are going to help create things that have density, uh, firmer connective tissue, just better kind of resilience and buoyancy for the skin. Then you're gonna move into what we, I like to call the cream phase of your skincare routine. So those were kind of the serums. And those will be creams that are going to lock in moisture. They're going to help with the um, also skin barrier function. So something with a good ceramide story is really good. Also extremophiles. This is one of the key things that you want to work on in your skin health routine is to maintain that hydration in the skin while supporting your barrier function. If you're just hydrating, if you're just focusing on, I'm gonna hydrate my skin, hydrate my skin, and you're not working on building up a good strong barrier function of the skin, you can hydrate all day long, but it will still evaporate because the skin barrier its function is to reduce transepidermal water loss. And when you have thin skin, it's not going to hold on to much moisture unless you're really supporting that skin barrier. Finally, your last part of your skincare routine would be sunscreen. And that again is to protect your, your, the work that you've done, to protect your current collagen, and just to help uh, fight that photo aging, and also to protect your health. Hope you've enjoyed our conversation on how to put together a maturing skincare routine. Check the description below for my product recommendations. And uh, please, if this has been of any use to you, please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to your questions and comments, and have a great day.